In this video, we're going to talk about the identification of the ordinary high water mark. Identification of the ordinary high water mark is necessary when any part of a construction project is located at or near the water's edge of an inland lake or stream. Examples of typical projects requiring a DEQ permit include permanent docks and boat hoists, dredging and beach sanding, and shoreline stabilization projects such as seawalls, rock riprap, and bioengineering. The ordinary high water mark should be identified when a project is first being planned. This will help the property owner, contractor, and consultant know if a permit is required. Knowing the location of the ordinary high water mark will help in filling out the DEQ permit application. The location of the ordinary high water mark needs to be added in the site plans as part of the application package. So this leads us to who is responsible for determining the ordinary high water mark. Staff in the DEQ Water Resources Division make the final determination of the ordinary high water mark. Often, DEQ staff visit a site to confirm an ordinary high water mark location that has been identified in a permit application. It's important for the applicant to know how to identify the ordinary high water mark because it's required in the permit application. The ordinary high water mark is a physical line on the landscape that separates the bottom land, or bed, of an inland lake or stream from the upland, which is higher, drier ground. The ordinary high is formed by the natural interaction of the water on the land and remains in the same location even though water levels may fluctuate seasonally or over longer time periods. Some of the physical features that can be used to determine the presence of the ordinary high water mark include changes in substrate, changes in vegetation, development of a shelf or other change in slope, the presence or absence of organic litter, water staining on rocks or sea walls, and eroded areas. Observations of one or more of these physical features should be used. It's best if these features are observed at a project site or along the adjacent shoreline. If the physical features indicating the location of the ordinary high are not present on the site, try looking elsewhere. Try looking for them on nearby lots or other locations on the inland lake or stream that are more natural and less disturbed. For more information, visit our website at www.michigan.gov forward slash DEQ Inland Lakes.